Hello, I'm Jeremy, and welcome to Refresh, where I love to produce content that will refresh your spirit, refresh your mind, and refresh your vision. Have you ever had a bad day? What about a bad week, or a month, or a year, where nothing seemed to go right for you? In fact, the more you try to make things work better, the worse they become. Have you felt like you're in the middle of a battle you cannot win? Have you felt that your world is falling apart around you and there's nothing you can do about it? Take heart, you are not alone. One thing I have noticed as I have studied the Bible is that most of the people we consider heroes began their stories in the middle of a difficult situation. In fact, it is often the difficulties that they faced that caused them to become heroes. What we remember from the Bible stories we grew up with are the heroic moments, the victories, the moments in the sun. We forget that these moments were preceded by ignoble moments, shattering defeats, and moments where they felt lost in impenetrable darkness. We remember Noah seeing the rainbow as he and his family stepped out of the ark and were safe. Joseph as the prime minister of Egypt, Moses standing before an open sea, David as a triumphant king. We forget the moments before. We forget the ridicule that Noah and his sons endured as they embarked on an impossible building project based on a quixotic quest to save the world. We forget the treachery of Joseph's brothers, his years as a slave, how he was falsely accused of sexual assault, and the years he languished forgotten in an Egyptian prison. We forget the the anguish that Moses must have felt when he discovered that his own people were the subject of genocide and oppression, and despite his wealth and position, he could do nothing about it. And when he finally decided to act, he was forced to run in terror as he fled his homeland of fugitives. We lose sight of the 40 years he spent as a lonely shepherd in the back end of the desert, the disdain he received from his people as he sent each of the plagues with no change for their condition or in the heart of Pharaoh. We forget David's years as an outlaw, betrayed and pursued by a man that he saw as a second father, the years spent living from cave to cave, relying on the kindness of strangers to provide food for him and his small band of hungry followers. How devastated he was at the destruction of the village he and his men had created, and the attacks of his own men for letting him down. These men did not see the end of the story when they were in the middle. All they saw was the angst, the failure, the ridicule, the despair, the battle. And when we are in the middle, we can't see the end either. It is in the middle where we are most likely to give up hope, give in to despair, lose ourselves in anxiety, step away from the battle and give up. We forget that it was pushing through the middle that made these heroes who they were, that fighting for the finish is what makes us a hero. When I look at the lives of those who made a difference in their world. I noticed that there were two things that kept them going, two things they held on to that helped them pursue purpose through the muck of the middle. And if you find yourself in the middle, these are two simple things that you can do. First, remember the promise. Each one of these people had a promise from God. A promise from God gives us something to look forward to, something to hold on to for the future. Now you might say, that's fine for you, but I don't have a promise. That is you. You need to fight for one. Jacob wrestled with God. He grabbed onto him and would not let go. He said, I will not let you go until you bless me. And God gave him a promise. He would no longer be a striver, but he was God's prince. God is willing to speak with us, to give us a promise of hope, and we need to find a way to enter into a dialogue with Him through His Word, in prayer, or something someone shares with us that resonates in our hearts. Often, we find ourselves in the middle of the story and we neglect the promise. It seems like we put it on a high shelf and leave it like an old book, gathering dust. But the promise is there to get us through the middle. You need to write it down, read it, remember it. And when we remember the promise, we begin to remember who we are and who God called us to be. And secondly, remember this is not the end of the story. 
You are in the middle. And that is why it seems like there are so many unresolved questions. That is why you are still fighting. The battle is not over. The end has not come. So fight on. Fight for the promise. Fight for hope. And one day, when you look back, you will see that it is your time in the middle that made you who you were truly called to be. I hope that this video encouraged you today. Next week is our season finale, and I'm going to be sharing with you a moment that changed my life forever. And if you haven't done so already, you're going to want to hit that subscribe button and make sure you click the bell so you get the notification as soon as it's uploaded. Until next time, keep looking upwards and keep moving onwards, and I'll see you in the next video.